Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I thought I would do a tutorial on the honeycomb paper. I've always got new people joining. I get messages pretty much daily saying I'm new to card making. I've enjoyed your tutorial or just asking for some advice. So I thought this would be a good one to share because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who have never seen honeycomb paper before. Because I must admit when I first saw it, I thought it was just the best thing ever and I still do. I think it's very clever and you can create some wonderful things. So this was all part of a new launch, which I'm going to show you in a moment from creative craft products but they do also have christmas ones coming back out they done their christmas honeycomb last year and it was very popular so if you enjoyed and you've seen it before then i think you're going to like what's to come but i just wanted to show you some different ways because it's called this is the tropical and the it's all tropical honeycomb actually so if i just show you the the four sets so you've got your flamingo you've got the cocktail glass there you've got your pineapple and then you've got the parrot and then it also came with some coordinating stamp sets which are these two here so you've got your tropical sentiments and then you've got your bird sentiments so i did a facebook live launching this over on the craft stash uh, facebook page so i'll link that below so you can see how i made this one here how i did this one and I also showed you how to do this one here, I believe. So I thought what I'd do today is show you again how to put them all together and we'll do some slightly different ones. Now, I am going to be using these on my Christmas tree. I have a very alternative Christmas tree. It's all different colours and um, it's just a collection of things over my lifetime, really. So nothing matches, but I just have a lot of the original vintage tree decorations with the honeycomb on them. So I think this is just going to work really well. So this one, Club Tropicana. So it just shows how you can make a little 3D, you know, decoration. I thought this would look lovely as bunting for a party because you could have one with the cocktail glass and then the pineapple and kind of alternate them along, you know, some string. But you can also then pop it onto a card. So I think that could make quite a nice birthday invitation. So you've got different ways to use it. Again, with the bird, I'm going to show you we're going to have a hanging bird and a hanging cocktail glass. And I've got a really nice fun fold and different way to use this one here but you can see how it looks with the honeycomb but also without and you've got all of that in this little collection it's really really sweet so whether you want to make more of a 3d effect or have it on a card i'm going to explain all that and i'll also show you a way that you can have this all flat and then the recipient will open it and stick it down so it won't get squashed or damaged in the post but you could also pop that in one of my box envelopes as well if you wanted it already so first of all i think we'll start with the cocktail glass so i've gone ahead and i've cut all of the pieces that i need so i'm going to make this as a hanging decoration so i want two of the main piece here because it's obviously if it spins you're going to see the back and i've also when i've cut this one here i've just made sure that it's the same on the back because that one you're going to kind of see i've already stamped my little sentiment here so it's kind of similar what I've done there just made a little tag and I've heat embossed cheers which is from the tropical sentiment set and then this one here is the the cocktail so you get seven dice so you can see them all here so two of the main glass then the straw I've also cut that twice I've just then flipped it over so that's going to be the front but I've got it that holographic on the back as well now this one here in every set you will get half of the main shape of whatever it is that you've got. That's to cut your honeycomb. So I've already cut one. I need to cut another one for the back. You can see you've got your little umbrella. That's your lemon slice or orange slice, or whatever. Then you've got your other slice there. And then you've got your small little cherry. So I just die cut it in black and then again in red, just snipped off the top of the red and stuck it on there. So you've got that cherry. And then I just used the umbrella you've got the stencil detail there so I just stenciled a little darker pink color and then on the lime slice there I've just inked a darker green through the middle so this is the honeycomb paper these are like the summer colors so you've got two yellow two pink and one blue and your these will last you a long time so just to give you an idea these are the ones that I have been using already and this is just the one sheet you can see just the little bits you snip away so for this one i want the yellow now a little tip is when you're cutting it find where you'll see there's like lines where the glue's been added always cut it slightly above one of those lines and i just find that way you get a much nicer finish and you don't get too much kind of loose at the top 
So if I just pull this open, if anybody's never seen this before, but you'll see, look at that. And you can use any dies. So you could cut half of a circle die or a square die. Just do half of it and then pull it open. It's really, really clever. So with this one here, I'm going to bring it just up past this line here. So you want to keep it nice and straight. And I'm just going to cut around that. So there's very little waste. You're always using the smallest amount and then I always just cut away what I don't need. Okay, so there's that piece like so. I'm just gonna show you the ones on this one. The others I've already cut ready. So and then I'm just going to again position that just above where the glue line is. Just run that through. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add my ribbon. So I'm just going to grab some of my quick grab glue. So I'm going to get this sandwiched in between, first of all, along with the end of the umbrella. And then I can build the honeycomb on top. And I'm just, these are just going to hang in my craft room until I put my tree up because they look nice and colourful now anyway. So I can enjoy them for a while like so and then i'm going to have and just kind of see how much of the the umbrella i want hanging out there so it's just pop a little bit of glue just tap that in place like so and then i'm going to use my kalau construction glue just to stick the rest down and this is just going to really strengthen this whole piece Now, another little tip with the honeycomb is if you've got some tweezers, just start to open up all of the layers. It's best doing this before you stick it down because it's easy to seeing to get into all of those layers. But just carefully, I'm just opening each one because they've been compressed at the factory. If you don't do this now, it I don't know, it could be it could be quite difficult for the recipient to do it if you're just going to leave it flat. So I highly recommend doing this first, just kind of going through each one. And you can't, it's, it, you know, you've really got to put some force into it to actually tear it. So don't, you know, don't be scared of it. So, you know, you can be, can be quite heavy handed with it. So that's all separated now. I'm then going to add my glue all onto the back here. Now, I don't usually use a liquid glue on a textured cardstock, like a mirrored card, but for this, it's going to be fine. You're then going to place this half following the shape of the glass. You'll see there's a little frame around the outside. Just follow that and just give that a minute to dry. Okay, so this one's pretty much dry. What I would suggest is if you're sticking this onto a card like this and you want to post it and you want the recipient to be able to put it together, just pop some double-sided tape down that side there. And you could stamp or just pop an instruction in the card. You know, you could have the arrows, you could have flip, turn, open, lift. You know, there's quite a few little instructions there that you could add to it. You could just pop some little circle maybe adhesive um, double-sided dots that you might have. But I'm going to put this all together because this is the hanging decoration and I just want you to see how it all looks anyway. Like I said, my 3D ones, I'm just going to pop in some box envelopes. And then I'm just going to use my tweezers and you want to find the very last one, or as close to, and just bring it down and just kind of tack it in place. If this wasn't mirrored card, it would stick straight away. Just like so. It takes a bit of practice, but once you get there, it's really easy. And just make sure you push it into the centre as well so you don't get a gap. So like at the bottom here, can you see where it's just coming out a little bit? Just push it in. Again, tweezers are going to be your best friend here. Push it in so you've got that same border 
on this side as you've got on that side there. And if you just pull it up, you can see where it's stuck. So if there's anything lifted, just go in there. But it doesn't take long to do. And even with the liquid, I mean, this is a water-based glue, it's not tearing that paper. It's pretty strong. But there we have one side. How effective is that? I still, I don't think I'm ever going to tire of this paper. I think it's brilliant. I was saying during the live, if you've got circle dies or maybe some actual balloon dies, if you just die cut half of the balloon, you could have a really lovely 3D card with all different colours and shaped balloons. I think there's lots of ways to do this. And there is a different colour set of honeycomb paper as well for the Christmas. It's red, green and white. And I think the white's good because I haven't tried it yet, but I imagine you could ink that and add your own colour to it. And there's the other side. So now we've got a really cute, <laughs> a very Sam Christmas decoration. But again, I think if you're doing like a someone's got a birthday in the summer, you want to have some bunting. I think um, this is a really fun way to... Yeah, make your own. So I just realised I've not added the straw, but I've got a feeling Kalau does take, I'd say you could still pull it apart even after 10 minutes and it's not been that long yet. So but you can see then when it goes stringy, if I stick that back together now, that will really secure itself. But I'm just going to, some of you are probably saying, Sam, you've not added your straw. I think I might do it that way, actually. Yeah, I'll do it that way. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more glue and I might add a little peg just on the edge there, just so that secures itself again. With the slice, I just cut a segment out like so, and then I can just, just pop it like that. I'm just gonna use some of the glue there. There we go. And then for the cherry, I find hot glue is good to stick things onto the honeycomb so for example the eyes there that's hot glue underneath because it would just kind of drop down into the layers so I'm just using a very very small amount of hot glue there I know you wouldn't necessarily have the cherry like this but you know it's a decoration so anything goes okay so I've changed it slightly I managed to get the cherry off and I thought the it was too much going on having the bow and the tag tied up there and it hid everything but I prefer it like that, so I've stuck it further down. But there is an example on how to turn them into, I think, really cute little hanging decorations. So again, there's the pineapple, and we're going to do the bird in a moment, but also just how nice it looks on the front of a card as well. Next, we're going to do a fun fold card using the very pretty flamingo. I think this and the cocktail glass might have been the most popular, because a lot of people was saying how their daughters, family members would love the, the, you know, the large flamingo here. So you get the main die. I've cut, I always seem to find I cut two of the main one and stick them together. But look how strong that is, even the thin legs. And I've used the construction glue to stick them together. I've gone a little bit darker, more purpley pink with this one, just so it really matches the, the paper. So you get the main die, then that will cut the legs in a slightly different colour. You get your leaf, you get your two wings there so if you just want to do this kind of style you can see the wings and that layer of the legs there and then this will make the face so you've got the beak and the white that will go over the top and also the eye there as well that's all on that piece so I've got all of the pieces there and you also get the half again you'll get that in every set and I've already cut that using the pink honeycomb paper there okay cut some of the leaves as well and I've also used this set which was the wave die set. And I know lots of people have got this one because I used it on a dolphin pop-up card, which was really nice. So I thought I would take that and I'm going to have like a little pop-up on the front. It's going to be a five by seven size. You want to cut a piece of five by seven card. And then this piece here is five by six and a half. Along the six and a half side, you're going to score at half an inch, two, four and a half and six. Ignore that score line I've got there. It was a mistake, but I've managed. You, well, you're not going to see it. Then fold. So they're all mountain folds, like so. And then these tab ends just snip a little bit off the sides. You're going to stick that onto 
the bottom here. Now I may well end up sticking all of this again onto the front of a five by seven card so it stands because it might it might topple forward. Now the idea is to stick these, lay it up and have the flamingo kind of walking in the water. So I've kept this, they're all the width that they come, but I've snipped them. If I just show you in the die set, if you snip them a certain way, it will be exactly five inches wide. So every single one will finish with half of this, like the, you know, the wave or the curve. If you cut right down there and there on each end, that is exactly five inches. It just means you get that lovely pattern without having half of it. So if you just cut it, say that way, I mean, you could have the same, you then it, I just thought it was quite nice having the full kind of semicircles running along the top there. So I'm gonna stick this all down. If you wanna, you know, stamp and color, if you wanna have pattern paper on here and things like that, then do so before you do this. I'm just gonna use my quick grab glue. You're then gonna just line up the bottom score line with the bottom of the card. Just push that down like so. And if you fold that piece and the tab and fold the whole thing over like so. So the idea is, is that that will drop down and kind of will stand. But I think, like I said, I'm gonna stick that onto a card base. Then I'm gonna stick this one Actually, I want to stick this one down first so it's coming over the top and then have that one like that. Now I'm going to lift that on foam and the idea is, is that she's going to be there. Now I think that I know I'm going to have to trim off that. You're not going to see the bottom of her feet, but what's going to happen is when that's all secure there, it's going to fold up and you need to make sure it stays within that five or seven inch height there. So I think that's going to be a good position. So first of all, I'm going to stick this one just down onto the card there because I don't need to add any foam onto that piece. So I think about there, it's up to you where you position this, you could have it higher, but I think that's going to be, yeah, I might just pull it down just a little bit like so. You can have it that way as well, but I just thought that looks like waves, so I'm keeping mine that way. Let's get some foam on that one. Okay, I'm going to place my flamingo and I'm going to add the glue all here because I know all this is going to be stuck down. So I think about there because the sentiment's going to be over this side. Like that. And now that one can just go over here, I want the scallop just running with the score line there. There we go. It's better in person because you can really then see, hopefully it's picking up that depth there from the foam. Now this one is going to go behind here. I mean, it could go kind of there actually as well. But I think it looks, I think it looks quite nice further back. Yeah, I think I'm going to have it right at the back there. So again, I'm just going to add my glue. You could trim the bottom if you want it to be completely flat, but I like the uh, the design that it gives you. Like so. Do the honeycomb and stuff in a moment. And then I thought having maybe like the leaves kind of behind her head, like so, and then the bird day just covering the ends. So the idea is, is that Kind of like that in the envelope. Yeah, I think that's going to work quite nicely. So let's stick these down. And then I always bring out my little bird stamps for filling any areas if I'm creating a scene. So this is just my fabulous flight set. I'm just going to have one there.
and then let's do uh, you've got to have three so we'll do another one further down there we go so that fills that area perfectly and then i need to add this so to if you want to create something like that you want to position the wings one there and like so and then that's it's like they're fluffing up fluffing up all their wings and then add your glue make sure you get it right up to the edges and then i'm going to follow this kind of shape here as you can see that's that's the shape of this piece so just place that half should have again a little frame just give that a minute to dry so I've just attached that to a 5 by 7 card blank so now that stands perfectly and I just thought it'd be a nice way just to show you another fun fold card there's this style here as well which was a, a tall slimline uh, faux stepper I will do a separate tutorial of this style so I've got another idea um, and again let me bring in that one as well so you can see how they look across those three different cards so that's just some inspiration for the flamingo set okay so next we're going to use the parrot die set so i've cut two of everything because when it spins around you want to see all of the detail so that's how it looks when you cut it it's this way and then i just flipped it to get that one and then just you know with every die piece do the same but you can see it looks quite nice you could have two together because one of the sentiments is lovebirds i think that would look quite nice in the middle you could have a 3d kind of style diorama card you've got the twig here you could you know patch them together so they're sat on the same twig build up the flowers and everything around it i think that would make a nice valentine's card as well but we're going to stick with like i said tree decoration style today so You've then got this one, which is going to stick over the top and you'll see it will fit perfectly into that shape there. And again, this one, so that will stick like so. The yellow just sits next to it and you can follow the design on the front of the packaging. You can see there it's just sat next to it. And then again, just going to flip that one over. So I'll just take the dies out here so you can see because I'm not using the flowers and the twig. For the face, it's these ones here and the feet. You've also got the leaf there as well. And that's your half piece. But if you cut the beak in black and then this one in white, and then on the this one here, you get the feet and the eye. So again, it's all black pretty much. And then the eye, you just piece it on top of there. And this again will fit in the shape here so you want it to be like like so and then stick that down first and then the beak will go over the top okay and then stick the feet i've already stuck them down because i didn't want to lose them and uh, the same with the eye there it was just so small and then i'm going to so i'm going to stick all that down and then i'm going to cut another one of this one here so i've got this piece ready again i'm going to cut it just above where the glue line is so just about there so i'm going to run that one through Okay, so I've stuck everything together there and one half of the honeycomb and then I'm just going to repeat the same on the back there. So just separate it all and stick it down just as I showed you before. If you want to add a little um, sentiment onto it, you've got some yeah, nice ones that come in this collection, but you might already have some bird related sentiments flaming gorgeous i like that one you are so fly that's the one i used on the card there but again i think it looked lovely off on a gift bag as well so that is how to put together and just another way of using the parrot and then lastly i'm going to use the pineapple and make a card with that one so for this one i've got a five by seven card blank and i'm just going to create a very easy background with my this is kitsch flamingo oxide it just takes away from being a plain white background of course you can use pattern paper 
it's entirely up to you but i just want to just want the pineapple to be able to just pop a little bit i might lift it up on a bit of foam but i think yep yeah, that's going to be fine that's exactly what i did on the back of this one here and also on the back of that one there so for this one here i've cut the main pineapple now you can also use this as a stencil so you could then go over the front of that to create the detail but because i've been putting the honeycomb over the top then you just don't see it but if you didn't want to use the honeycomb and you wanted to create the face just onto this then i would definitely you know use that detail there so i've cut it all in white i then cut it again in yellow and snipped off the top so that's going to piece over the top and then i done it again in green and then just snipped off the bottom and that's going to go on there like so i've then cut the half here in the yellow and that's going to stick in there and then i'm going to open that and then to go on the front this time i thought i'd use the eyes that come in the set so you've got that one there so you want to cut it in white and in black so you get the centers and the ring and then you've got the eyebrows which i've done should have another one somewhere Oh no, there they are. Two eyebrows, two blushing cheeks and the smile there as well. That's from something else. And then you've got the glasses as well. So I may, I may cut them in gold. I think that could look quite good actually is having the glasses as more like spectacles rather than um, all in black like that one there. And what did I do? That one's just googly eyes on that one. And then, ah, oh, so I've done, yes, yeah, so I've got that style. So I just piece the holographic, but I think for this one, I'm going to keep it clear. You could put acetate in there as well. So we'll have a play around with that. So first of all, I'm going to stick half of this, we'll stick it all down, stick all that down, and then we can do the decoration. So I've stuck it all down onto the card and I also stamped before I opened the honeycomb, the Club Tropicana. It fits in there perfectly. So if you, you know, wondered where to put your sentiment, you might have something that's small enough to stamp in there. And then we've got the eyes here. So I'm just going to just, where's the, so it's depending on how close you have them and where you place the smile and everything will change the kind of emotion on the the face so i'm just popping a little bit of glue behind the eye there i'm going to have one just there there we go and now i'm just going to Cut the glasses. Oh, I actually think it looks really cute in gold. I think gold's going to look quite cool. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of hot glue just in the middle. Just let that just grab just in the centre there. So again, this one does have a lot of dimension, so I pop it in a gift box you know envelope box i think i might do a few different colors of the pineapples and do different expressions on them and maybe have those hanging you could wrap them around as well there's no i don't see why you couldn't do that but that eye's a little bit high there but again i'm not worried about that i think it looks super cute and it stands still it's not going to topple i'll just bring in everything else that i've made and I will share photos of all of this over on my Facebook page. And I will possibly do another tutorial separately on that style. I already have it actually on the channel. So what I'll try and do is find one and I'll pop that up now. So if you want to make that one, um, 
yeah, and you don't want to go through this video, then uh, check that one out and I'll share a separate link to that as well. So that is everything in the Creative Craft Products Tropical Honeycomb. I think it's a lovely collection. I know we're at the end of our summer here in the UK. However, there is summer beginning for many people all around the world. And I know lots of you are fortunate enough to just have nice weather all the time. So <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be something of interest to many of you. I hope you've enjoyed the samples and ideas that I've shared today. I will um, share all the links to the products as always in the description box below. And yeah, look out for the Christmas honeycomb collection. It's lovely. I've already got it. So I'll be starting to make some samples and create some videos using that and um, yeah look out for the launch because I think you're going to enjoy it so take care everybody and I'll see you all again soon bye